How did you guys come up with the name Kill Hannah? We've got a bio available on the website. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that this video is going to get out there because I'm really tired of answering the question. <laughs> we'll have this on video now, so yeah. then you'll never have to say it again. Yeah, all so right. why don't you just say it? Hannah here. was my ex-girlfriend. Is my ex-girlfriend. It's kind of a semi-provocative name like that, and I, I've kind of outgrown it from the time it began. A very special girl, really. You know, made a, uh, a profound impact on me emotionally, negatively. I was 18, I moved to college in like rural Illinois. The town's actually called Normal, Illinois. And uh, Hannah at the time was 16 and going to a uh, Catholic school in the area. And she just looked so strange, you know, but really beautiful too. She had like purple, blue hair. She had like three or four nose rings. And this was in like, whatever, 93 or something. So it was a little more daring than it is now. Actually, my first Kill Hannah show, I stood right next to her and I had a total crush on her. Yeah, yeah. she's cute. And I didn't know that was the Hannah until, like, you know, later on. No, anyway, she was just, she just really stood out, especially in that town, you know. And we had a kind of bizarre, short relationship and um, it ended kind of strangely. And... I was really, it was my first experience with heartbreak in the kind of traditional sense and so I was, you know, as devastated as a, as a 19 year old can be and um, so I wrote a song about it because I was feeling really angry about it and really vengeful and like I said I've kind of outgrown that but the name stuck.